In my previous treading water video, we discussed using your hands like the blades of a fan to create downward pressure in the water. We also discussed the leg motion used in egg beater kick. Then we combined the arms and legs together. Still, that doesn't necessarily mean we're ready to jump into the deep end. If you're just a beginner, you'll want to practice these skills in the shallow end and then work your way deeper. If you feel uncomfortable in the water, just start in relatively shallow water working with your hands. Feel the water against the palm of your hands as you move them back and forth. Next, sit down into the water while continuing to work the arms. Think about the feel of the water against your hands. From this position, try lifting your feet off the bottom of the pool periodically. You may have to quicken the pace of your hands. For a few seconds at a time, bring your legs out in front of you or tuck them to your chest. As you lift your feet off the bottom, the pressure against your hands should increase as they begin to hold more of your weight. Take a nice breath in as you pick your feet up off the bottom. This will help you be more buoyant. It's not the speed of your stroke that keeps you afloat. Slow and smooth motions beat fast and stiff motions. I may be working harder on the left, but I'm sinking. Next, we'll head to neck deep water and practice the arms and legs together. Stomp, stomp, out, together, stomp, stomp, out, together. This also enables us to try treading where we can still safely stand. Give it a try, and if you're struggling, you can always put your feet down. When you feel ready, you can finally head to the deep end. Stay within arm's reach of the wall. Start with one arm along with your kick, and then add the other arm. You can always grab the wall if you need to. A corner is another good place to practice. Get those legs going, and then add the arms. For safety, stay within arm's reach of the wall. I hope this video has given you a game plan for learning how to tread water. Thanks for watching.